Okay, the next step is to dry fit everything before I do any sanding or staining. A jack over here if I couldn't make that a little easier. If we only had this one kind of sitting in there. And if I slip a board in underneath over here, that always tends to help get everything up off of the bed. Hmm. Let me go grab my rubber hammer. Oh, here, let's slide these in first.
time I had this, this is about where I sold it to be. Because there's the hole, and there's the hole. So this one should be right in here. This one should be right in here. This one should be right about there. That one should be right about there. And I need to twist this up a little bit to make room for the wood. under. on that side. Alright. There's all the boards. Now let's go get the strips. Now that we have the strips, let's see if this all will fit. Looks like it should sit right there.
right, there you go, guys. How's that look? Does that look like that's going to be a nice bed? Once I get it stained and varnished, I think that'll look good in there like that. Now it's just a matter of routering out around those other wheel wells there. Looks like everything will sit right there pretty nicely. Mark this side. And then we got to figure out how we're going to rob her. Maybe a little bit of extra routering there. But, yeah, that's life. Okay, there you have it guys. Now I just need to router it and sand it and stain it and varnish it and then we'll come back and put this in. Okay, so I finally got these all cut and routered. So that one's cut, routered, and sanded to a hundred grit. Now I need to sand this one to 100 grit and then there are other six, five of them to 100 grit. So uh, here we go. Now it's time to start sanding. But the routering is done. That was a little tricky. I had to freehand that whole thing. So uh, I did use a board though. A piece that I cut off uh, down there to kind of give me at least one straight edge. Now I, and then I dry fitted them both so I know they're fitting, but now I need to clean them up. Okay, so this is a little bit different than other body work because this is actually woodwork. So uh, I think I can still use this for the plastic. <laughs> Yeah, of course I have these pointy ones and these round ones. They don't work together, but they I'll make them work. One way or another. So you may be asking, why am I not sanding the bottom side? Because I don't care about the bottom side. I'm going to seal it, and that's about it for that side. But there is the 100. Now let's switch and go to the 150. Take out those 100 scratches. All right. Get me a... Piece of this 150. And away we go. Alright, there's 150 for that board. Now we go to 220. Now I'm going to 220 for
for one reason, well, two reasons. I'm only going to 220 and I'm stopping there. First reason is, this is a pickup box. I mean, if I throw something in the back, it's going to get scuffed up. So, why the hell would I go beyond 220? Second reason, 220 is the finest I got. So, if I want to go more than that, I'd have to actually buy some, and I, that ain't going to happen. The other question you might be asking yourself is, is why, why am I not doing the edges? Because that's hidden. <laughs> it's all underneath uh, other stuff. You know, it's underneath those metal strips or it's all in that rusty area. So I don't care. Well, there you go, guys. That's two of the boards, uh, the two edges. Now I got the other five middle ones to do, so I'm not going to bore you with that because it's essentially the same thing from here on until I start staining. So that'll be the next step. Okay, guys. Well, I uh, got everything done here, or at least sanded. So now I'm down to staining. That's my next step. So come back next time and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.